Hello, good evening and welcome to Country Time with Quinn, Ireland's first live web TV country and western show. The show is live on the internet every Friday evening from 8.30pm to 9pm GMT. Check drumlinmedia.com for further details. If you would like your artist or venue featured on the show or DVDs, you can send them or contact Quinn's Country Time at gmail.com or Drumlin Media at gmail.com. Quinn's Country Time travelled to the Grove House Hotel in Dunlear in County Loud last week to talk to the fabulous Jess McGilligan and the Hot Country Band. Good evening and welcome to the Grove House Hotel in Dunlear in County Loud, where Country Time and Quinn has caught up with Jason McGilligan. Jason, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me on, Seamus. It's good to see you. I know, problem is, it's great to have you. You're travelling around quite a bit and a hard man to catch up with. Ah, yeah, thankfully, we're up and down the country and uh, we're very busy. It's, actually, it's not a bad complaint to have at the minute, is it? Ah, it's a great complaint. Yeah. And it's going exceptionally well at the moment. It's going very well for us, yeah. Um, as you know, we put the band out about a year and a half ago. Yes. And uh, we, we had our hard times as well, but thankfully now we're seeing a lot of good nights. I know th things uh, do take a wee bit different time to time, but then now it, it has started to pick up with young people coming into the scene, with young people like yourself there. There's a lot of young singers in, on the scene at the minute, and I think because of that, we're attracting a lot of young attention. And, you know, it, it's good to see it. I mean, some of the young people we have come to our dances are, are the best dancers I've seen in Ireland. So uh, it's, it's given it a bit of a makeover, and it's kind of re-energised the scene. And I would say, you know, country music's in, in a very healthy state, thankfully. It is, because young people like yourself there, Nathan Carr and Derry Ryan and Johnny Brady, you sort of breathing new life into it. Not saying that, that the, the like of Robert Mazzells and, and Jimmy Buckley <laughs> and, and Declan Ernie, they're fabulous singers in their own right too, but it's great for the young people bringing in this new creation of young people into their learning and mad learn to dance. Well, that's what we're trying to do. You know, like you say, I mean, the likes of Jimmy Buckley and Mike Denver and Robert Mazzell, all, all, all the, the other guys on the scene who, who are still doing a, a stellar job, um, it's, it's nice for us to be able to come in and, you know, it, it's, it's nice for a lot of us, us young guys to, to get to chat with one another. And I suppose we're, we're learning from the experience of the likes of Jimmy Buckley and all the, all the guys who've came before us. And you would have maybe been on stage and concerts and various shows across the country there with these guys. So this is where you actually get to talk to them and meet with them and just make friends with them as well. It's, it's one of the aspects of the business that I most look forward to is, is the likes of those concerts or award shows or variety shows of any form. Because you get to meet up with everybody and you get to have a chat and see how things are going. And it's just, it's great crack. You, you'll always, there's never, you're never short of a laugh when you're in, in that scenario and, and everybody gets on really well and you know that it's it's nice to be able to do those things that's great and you actually have some uh, a powerful we'll talk in a minute about your cds but you have some dvds out as well too in, in music well yeah every time we release a single we, we accompany it with a, a music video because tv is a good medium now there, there are so many shows like your, yourself yes. uh, and all the other television shows there's no shortage of things for people to want and people really cry out for it so I, I think nowadays you, you kind of have to do the music video and I mean it's a different, it's a different world from standing up on a stage or, yes. or standing talking to you now. You know, I find I'm very out of my comfort zone doing a music video but like I say, I suppose the more you do it, the easier it becomes and the more crack you have with it. But uh, no, it's, it's good to do them. I, I enjoy them now. Fabulous song. And where did that song come from? That song is actually a Canadian song from yes. Newfoundland. It's a, a story about a... As the people have heard, it's a story about a sailor who gets stranded in a town and he's on his own and he's worried about being on his own but he's welcomed in by the people and he, he hears music and he goes to a bar and they're playing St. Anne's Reel and that, that's where that song comes from. It's a really old song. Ah, very good. And do you write any of your own stuff? I have. I've, I've penned a couple of songs now for the new album. Uh, again, I wasn't in my comfort zone doing it but it was something I've wanted to do for a long time. And thankfully, I've, I've, I've had the help of a lot of people like um, Aidan Cunningham, who plays steel guitar in my band, is a, a well-versed songwriter. And I, I went to Aidan with a few ideas, and, and we've worked on it. And thankfully, now, we, we've come up with good arrangements and stuff. And I've worked with a couple of other songwriters as well from Donegal. And hopefully, we'll, we'll hopefully have those on the new album. Very good, very good. And what albums have you out there at the moment? At the moment, I have the, the first album that I had out. It's called Looking Out My Back Door. 
right. And like I say, we're, we're working on the new one now. We're rele releasing a few singles and the build up to it. And it should be out now very shortly, hopefully by the end of the summer. At, oh, at the very good, very good. And we look forward to that, actually. And I'm sure there'll be a DVD accompanying some of those as well. Thankfully, yeah, we, we have enough music videos now that we can put a DVD together. So there'll be something to accompany that. And we'll try and put a couple of extra things into the DVD as well. Maybe some, some behind the scenes shots of, of touring with the band and things like that. Ah, very good, because there's a lot of people out there who love sitting at home there some nights and weekends that are not able to go out and they just love to sit and watch DVDs and see the band as well. Well, I, like I say to you, I think the, the TV medium is as every bit as important now because people don't have the money to go out every night. And when, when they have four or five hours of television that's providing you with all these singers and, and great songs, of course they're going to sit down and enjoy it. And, you know, like I say, we, we, we look forward to, to releasing the DVDs and no matter where we go, people talk about having seen us on TV and that might be why they came to see us at the show. And it's just a good medium. It's another medium. It's brilliant. And concerts. Do you ever think they've gone down the road of concerts at all at any time? Well, at the start, I didn't, I didn't take well to concerts because I was so used to the dancing scene where... You know, pe people were dancing. They weren't really worried about what you were doing on stage. Uh, so the first couple of concerts I did were, I, I found them hard to do. And I found it hard to get people going. And then I did a tour with Rolly Daniels last year, yeah. um, myself and the band and Dee Riley. All right. Did a, a two-month tour with Rolly Daniels in the summer. And uh, I'll tell you, I learned an awful lot from Rolly Daniels about how to, how to interact with people in a concert scenario. So it's actually something I would love to get into maybe... Around Christmas time, myself and the band might do a few, you know, select concerts with a couple of special guests, and oh, it's something that I look forward to doing now because you get away with doing things that you wouldn't normally get away with in a dance. You can do ballads and, and acoustic songs and things like that. So definitely, it's something I would love to to get into. Yeah, it is different because on stage there, live is what you're doing now tonight uh, is completely different. And if, if you actually do a concert where you can actually say do a few ballads and interact with, with other band members or with special guests as well. Well, it's again, it's nice to be able to do it in a concert scenario. All eyes are on you, yes. and and everything counts in a concert. And you get to talk to people as well. You know, in a dance, people want to dance. You, you want to be given two solid hours of music, high energy show. Whereas in a concert, you can sit and talk to them and tell them how you came up with the idea for a song or why you recorded this song. And like I say, you can just, you can strip bare and, and do just yourself and the acoustic guitar and, and do an, an acoustic set if you want. It's a whole storytelling, that's, and that's what the lovely part of any of these shows. And you find probably Tom T. Hall and people like that in America, this would have been all storyteller, and then they went into a song as well. Beautiful. Well, th this year, I, it's, it was a highlight for me. Was we, got, we got to go see Vince Gill in Dublin. Fabulous. And uh, for 45 minutes, he just played just the acoustic guitar and his voice. And he told you the story behind it. You, you know, often t you, you would hear a song and think, I wonder how he came up with the idea for that. Or, and, and I think that about a lot of songwriters. So it's nice to get to finally find out, oh, well, that's the story behind this song. And then to hear it in, in its purest form with just an acoustic guitar and a voice, it's just three chords and the truth right away. No, no backing, just him and his guitar. Yep, just him on his own. You'll get there and you'll be there one day as we'll be watching you doing that as well. Well, I, I've, I've taken that risk a few times now. Th like, like you say, you, you know, we, we do a lot of these variety shows and, yes. and things like that. So th you have the opportunity at, at those concerts to kind of just put on the guitar and, and sing a song. And I, I, I often use it, that, you know, I might have found a song at home right. and think, I wonder, w would the people like that kind of a song? And I would just ask them, I'd say, I'm thinking of maybe doing this song on an album and just let me know if you like it. And I would just sing it, just me and the guitar. And thankfully, so far, Touchwood, the response has been good. <laughs> and just on that note, I want to hear you saying that there, and I'm really liking what I hear, because we'd love to have you come into our studio uh, sometime whenever you're passing by, take the guitar in and do that acoustic. Just the way you want to do it, we'd love to hear that. It would be fabulous. I'll do that any time that I'm available to do it. No problem if I'm passing well, we, by. We look forward to that, and I'm sure our audience will look forward to that as yeah. well, too. Yeah, it's just out at the start of this year. Yes. Um, my manager found that song. I mean, it's, again, it's a very, very old song. And my manager said to me, I think that you could sing this well. So we started playing it in the live show for a while to see how the, the audience would react to it. And they reacted brilliantly. You know, people in country music in particular, story songs are very, very important. Yeah. And this song, again, like the Ballad of St. Andrew, 
tells a, a lovely story, a, a sad story, but it's it's a story of unrequited love, you know, and th- and that's what country music is about to me, you know. Ah, it is. It's great. You touched there, D. Riley. D. Riley is playing with you around the country at the moment. Yeah, Dee's doing a tour with us now for roughly the next month, and she's been with us for a month previous. And um, it's great to get to, to work with Dee. Um, for anybody who hasn't seen Dee performing, in my opinion, she's one of the best female singers to ever hit Ireland for country music. And uh, no, she she contacted us and and. We organised a few dates and, and we're doing a lot of concerts yes. because of it. And uh, it's just it's nice to be able to work. I think collaborative work is something that every artist should do because it's a nice thing to do. It's it's good fun and you get to know people really well. Yeah. So so Dee's with us now for the next month and I, I would recommend I- any of the shows you'll enjoy it. Well, we certainly will be talking to Dee later on in tonight anyway. But for now anyway, it's, 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 it's your show anyway at the moment. And uh, you're talking about dates and that around the country. You're playing anywhere w- even within the next week or two weeks. We, we're up and down all over the country. We're, we're actually heading out next Friday to um, Bondorn, the hub of country oh, music. Very you know? good, very so good. So myself and Dee are playing in the Allingham. Um, that, that's Friday the 31st. And then we're heading down to Cork, to Mitchellstown, for a, a concert down there. And uh, we're, we're back up then. And we're, uh, we're all over. We're, we're, we're covering a lot of ground. We're doing Dublin and, and County Down and County Armagh and then back down to Limerick. And we're just we're covering a lot of miles and, and meeting a lot of people along the way. And I suppose the, the local media and, and even the Sunday World there as well, people would find there all the dates within, within that paper there. They've given a good review and good of dates that's playing around all the bands and yourselves in particular as well. The Sunday World is probably the best place to find, you know, yes. across the board you're going to find every dance available. Yes. Yeah. Um, but, but for our, our dates, for, for my dates and, and for the tour with Dee Riley, you can find any of the dates are on my website. Can uh, give it to the people out there? Yeah, www jasonmcgilligan.co.uk and then obviously I'm on Facebook as well that, that's, that's a big medium at the minute okay. and I think a lot of the country music community are, are on Facebook so they can check it out on if you just type in Jason McGilligan you'll, you'll find I, I post the dates regularly on it okay. and on Facebook as well too yeah fa- Facebook is, is regularly updated with where we are and what we're doing well, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, time has taken us on board tonight, and we have a fabulous time talking to Jason, and look forward to it. And that was the fabulous Jason McGilligan, and unfortunately, we just haven't any DVDs of Jason's life to play at the moment, but he has promised he would come live into the studio, sing live songs, and have his new DVD where we will play his new songs. And just before we go to commercial break, we'll be talking to the fabulous Dee Riley in the second half.